really exciting event to tell you about. It's in Melbourne. It's a huge fashion event. It's going to be in Paran. It's for the Paran Mission Raising Money. It's a charity fundraiser, which is what I really loved. When you girls contacted me, I was very excited to be helping with this. And what it is, is they are students at this design school and they have a zero budget. So they have to come up with this amazing event that's going to raise money for the Paran Mission. And they have got some amazing designers involved, haven't you? Yes, we do. Some of the designers we have include um, Gorman, Alpha 60, Neo Dia, Jenny Bannister. I love Jenny Bannister. She's yeah. crazy. She wears fluoro colours like me, everyone. Yeah, she's very colourful. She's mad. Yeah. Um, yes, we, we have <laughs> we love it. OTT, <laughs> Alexandra Black, Ragged, uh, Prus Prussia, and Lisa Toronto. Wow. And many more. And many more. They're yes. awesome. And so it's kind of all ages because I like a lot of those labels and I'm, you guys mm. would definitely love a lot of those labels. Yeah. yeah, they're great and we really appreciate their help and coming on board with us. Yeah. yeah. And haven't you got models from like Giant? Giant Modeling yeah. Agency, yes. They've donated $15,000 worth of models for our event. Which so is you're not going to see like just someone's, you know, daughters volunteering for the parade, just seeing real models, which yeah. is exciting. Men because... and women. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Men. There's going to be males in there too. Mm -hmm. Girls. You'll have to come along. So how much are tickets? Um, um, okay. Tickets are 40 for students and 50 for adults. See, that's good. Um, are we getting a drink or some food? You definitely and... do get a drink and some food and everything's included. <laughs> Apart from the clothes, which are um, on sale after the show, as well as um, oh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. nice. We have a pop-up store happening in another one of our rooms, so we'll have the fashion show first. Awesome. Everyone will be seated for that at about six, six thirty, seven o'clock, yep. and then um, we'll have uh, our pop-up store after. So that will be a and lot it's going to be fun, so everyone. exciting because Channel Seven are going to be there. The mm -hmm. Age is covering all sorts of people, lots of press. Yep. Yeah, it yes. is exciting. You guys yeah. have done Very a great job. Exciting. We also have a lot of prizes, some from Village Cinemas, Gold Class tickets, oh, as well like as um, Cullen Hotel. The Cullen Hotel. They've donated about ten studio apartments. Really? And, yeah. And That's one of the best the hotels in Melbourne. Everybody. The yeah. Penthouse. And the penthouse for mm -hmm. four nights. Wow, yeah. it's a it's a fabulous hotel in Paran, and it's designed around artists, and so all the rooms have prints from the from the artists inside, mm -hmm. and it's really modern. In fact, we modelled our bedroom upstairs from one of the rooms in that hotel. Oh wow, because we yeah, liked yeah. it so much. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice idea. Yeah, <laughs> and so you, th their course is all about that. It's about styling in general, so styling fashion shoots, styling um, interiors, interiors, and... visual merchandising. Um, business of design we learn every aspect of design so if anyone's even you know Is interested in yeah do you love it yeah no, so we, we love what we work Is it a lot of work Is a lot of theory work as well um yeah they do everything is. really yeah do you ever go oh my god i've got that assignment do you in or do you go oh my god i've got this great assignment do you love it yeah, we do. It, it does vary, but we do yeah, get excited. Fun, Something yeah. like this, we're being really excited about because it's really hands-on, and we're working with a yeah. real-life. Um, charity and you know it's just something that we're all really excited about yeah. and looking forward to so and you learn to work as a team and yeah. exactly. and not everything always happens the way you want it to no for example not. everyone I'm one of those people because we were actually going to film at the set and this is all being done where they film project runway yes so it's not actually going to be in my art room it's mm. going to be this fabulous <laughs> venue like it's really <laughs> exciting but you know, time, I was just time poor this week, so they've been kind enough to come here and we can make the video that way, but it's going to be such a great yeah, venue, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, no, it's great. We've got the ground floor there, so it's a very big space, and yeah, it's perfect to fit about 350, 400 people, which is what we're expecting. Nice. Yeah. So go and buy your tickets. <laughs> I reckon exactly. there'll be a lot of guys coming along now, and maybe girls, now that there's, you know, male there's and female. For everyone. Yes. Yeah, there really bit is. Bit of a drink, bit of a, you know, mm. canapé. Free drinks, free food. Yeah, and we've we got any celebrities popping in, and um, we we've be. got some awaiting. We'll oh, see what's going to surprises. happen. Yeah, we can't tell everyone, so oh, we'll see what fun. happens there. We'll be there. We do have some other well-known brands, including Red Bull, coming. So we're having the Red Bull girls. We'll have everyone around. charged up. Yeah. yeah, all the boys will be excited for that. Yes. yes. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, that is unreal. So is there anything else that we need to um, let everyone know? Maybe um, the, the food companies we've got on board and the drinks. We've got uh, $14,000 worth of food and drink from uh, Blue Carpet Events. And that's an amazing that's contribution. That's nice. That is very yes. generous, isn't it? Really great. Yeah. And we also have Feisty Wines contributing some of their wines that are um, donated, that are, um, sorry, 
uh, imported, imported <laughs> um, for the um, youth generation. So their wines and are mainly. They're in like cool bottles and colourful. Yeah, they're and stuff, really cool they? bottles and yeah, then more for feisty the younger wines. generation. It sounds yes. feisty. I'm yes. gonna look out for that now. Yeah. It's a good name, Feisty Wines. Mm. Yes. So that's about it. I and think. you two girls, so these yeah. girls are going to be there, of course. Yeah, we'll be there, so don't worry. Yes. <laughs> so um, come along and support us. We really appreciate your support within this. So don't forget to buy a ticket. Yeah, and, and I'll put a link under here so you mm -hmm. can find where to buy a ticket. It'll take you directly to the. And you can place. also like our Facebook page. We can also put a link oh, there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. All right. So, and, and next, I'm going to introduce you to Erica, who works for the Pram Mission, because I want you to know what the Pram Mission exactly is. So. This is what the money's going towards because, to be perfectly honest, I didn't know exactly what the Paran Mission did. I've always seen it in Chapel Street, mm -hmm. but I didn't know. And um, once I went there, I was like, I just had to get involved because it's so incredible and so important. It's all about, oh, wait, I'm not even going to tell you. I'm going to wait for Erica. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Okay, everyone, this is Erica who works at the Paran Mission. And I'd love you to tell us or tell these guys a little bit about <laughs> what the Paran Mission actually is. Okay, so we're based on Chapel Street in Paran and we've been there for 66 years now and um, it's, you know, we look after people who are really in desperate need. So they may be experiencing homelessness, um, experiencing mental illness, um, poverty or some form of disadvantage and we're really there for them. So we were initially set up by the Paran Methodist Church back in 1946. Yep. Um, they felt there was a real need in the community. Um, it was, you know, some months after the end of the Second World War. People were coming back, women found themselves widowed. Um, there were a lot of migrants coming into the area, um, you know, who were sort of coming with next to nothing. Yep. And so there was a real need to support people. Um, so we've basically been doing the same thing since 1946, um, but now our main it's focus amazing. Um, is really on people with mental illness yeah. um, and the stigma that goes with that. So we um, we offer rehab. So you know if someone's going through and has had a breakdown or yeah. got schizophrenia or bipolar disorder, um, you know oftentimes they might be told something like take your medication. Don't expect to have a relationship, yeah. to get married, to have a job. Yeah, so that's not um, fair, is it? You know, this is your life yeah. as it is. Just yeah. expect this for the next. And sometimes that can years. create a mental picture for people. It's like sometimes yeah. that if sometimes what people are told, they just think, oh, that's me, that's me, and I might as well just go and live in a box. Absolutely. Don't so they? yeah. So what we do, we offer. Um, Recovery. Now, recovery can mean, you know, it, it may not necessarily mean that you're free from symptoms, yeah. but it means that you can have, you know, a full and sort of a, you know, a high quality yeah. life. Yeah. Um, so, you know, for example, I worked with a guy recently who, you know, he's 52. He's never, he hasn't worked for 25 years. Because, wow, that's know, Paul's was, age, everyone. That's my husband's age. Yeah, because he was told back then, you know, you're seriously mentally ill, don't oh. expect to work, don't expect to have a family, um, you know, you'll never live independently. And so he did that. Yeah. He so just been, expected and he did it. So we found him in a home that we, we actually took over a residential facility where we found him. Yeah. And, you know, we've been working with him for the last couple of years. He's now got a job. Oh, that's nice. He's What's he actually, doing? Um, um, he works part-time um, in cleaning. And, See, um, there's jobs everywhere, isn't it? Absolutely. There? And so what we did, you know, he'd never ever worked. Now, yeah. man, it's really hard to imagine never working. Yeah. So all those skills you take for granted, like socialising, getting to work on time, yes, catching, on time. You know, catching public <laughs> yeah. transport, you know, being responsible, dealing with conflict yes, issues. Yes, it's a lot to learn. Um, when you've never done that before, is yeah. actually quite daunting. Yeah. So, How did he go at first? So um, we have a special um, work placement program, and it, we run it in conjunction with a great company um, who do packaging down yeah. in Moorabbin. And what they do, they give, um, we have five people at a time, they give them all one day um, a week. Yeah. They get paid for their one day a week. And nice. in that, they have to get there on time, catch public transport. They learn the factory. So they're to learning work, the skills in a forgiving also, kind of atmosphere. Absolutely, they're buddied up with yeah. one of the uh, with one of the workers there who nice. look after them. Yeah. And they do that for six months, and that's really a transitional program to see, you know, are they ready for the workplace? It's really yeah. amazing. Um, you know, but it's what's the success rate out of that? Oh, uh, pretty high. Like, really? Yeah, it'd be over fifty percent. So wow. we then move people into, and um, we then help them look for permanent it's fantastic. work. Fantastic. So, so, so this guy, you know, he did that program. He's now got permanent work. He's moved out of the home. He's got I bet his he's proud of himself too. Independent flat, you know. Yeah. And I bet he's one of those ones who makes everything sparkle. Absolutely, yeah. he's fantastic. Yeah. And um, I actually got um, a really great donor 
um, bought us some furniture for these units we built wow. for, for independent living. And so, you know, I had a whole load of, you know, probably gem wires yeah, in there yeah. helping us put furniture yeah. together. And he came and actually put together the furniture that was going to go into his unit, you know, because he was so happy and so grateful. So if you need someone to help you set up your unit, you know, <laughs> yeah, so, that's yeah, so, so, so that's the sort of, the sort of work that we do. Yeah. Um, I suppose in terms of the of fashion, you know, we sit on Chapel Street, which is sort of one yeah, of the fashion capital in yeah. Melbourne. Everyone, all of you overseas watching this, um, yeah. and so you know, it, it was um, my friend Philip, um, who is one of the lecturers down at White yeah. House, and is also a celebrity stylist. You know. Um, Obviously, he's interested in fashion. You know, he's yeah, worked yeah. on Chapel Street, and you know, he's you know, he's always known I've been at the Mission. So we just thought somehow we should be able to combine these two things. You know, how can we create awareness about mental yeah. illness, about the stigma? Um, Australia, sadly, um, when we look around the world at other OECD countries. Mm -hmm. People with a mental illness, the unemployment rate is about forty to forty-five percent. Is that right? In Australia, it's eighty. What? So, you know, really? It's, it's really hard for people, you know, if... Uh, that's looking, insane, looking everyone. Work. That's not yeah. what we're is. <laughs> but it is. Like, that's incredible. Yeah. So, it's really around stigma and discrimination. So, if people disclose they've got a mental illness, people tend to people go, go, oh, whoa, my God. Yeah. You know, and, and get really sort of yeah. frightened. So, you know, we're So, working. do they disclose that? If they're some, going to a job people, interview? Some people don't. Some people choose to. I don't think to. I would. Um, but most people don't. No, I don't think I would. Why? You, no, everyone doesn't need to know everything. Yeah. And also, but the reason that you, you know, because if you think about other illnesses like, say, diabetes, you probably would disclose yeah. that. Because oh, I'd disclose that I'm celiac and I can't eat gluten. And, but it's, it's <laughs> yeah, still yeah, a health yeah. condition. Yeah. But yeah. there's no stigma. That's right. So. And it really is just a, it's, look, it's, it's a health just condition. a, that's right. It's just that they were wired differently. Yeah, or or it could be trauma based. I, yeah. mean, I mean, we find that for you know people with schizophrenia, around seventy percent of them have usually had childhood trauma. Is that right? So you know, and and we we see a lot of people who are coming to us, and when you go to the roots of it, there's trauma there. Yeah. So um, you know, and whether that's from bullying at school or from abuse in the home, yeah. or you know, it all um, chips away over the absolutely, years, doesn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. So, so you know, it's really difficult that you know in, in this country there is so much discrimination to people who've got yeah. mental illness, and that's why yeah. you know this show is called Aware because it's about awareness. Yeah, and it's, it's also fabulous. about you know obviously and the aware, the plan words, and everything. Completely, it's such a clever name. And so, um, and so that the concept for the show, um, we have op shops, and yeah. in, in our op shops, we. Um, People who are interested in working in retail, who again have got a mental illness, finding it hard to get work, yep. we have a training program. So they can actually learn retail nice. skills. Um, it's nationally accredited training. They get paid Fantastic. For, for, for being there. Um, so obviously, you know, we want to sell a lot of stuff yeah. through the op shop. To and op shop's people. a place where people go with their second hand clothing clothes. and stuff. And then so these guys shop. have been merchandising it to look nice and presentable and get Absolutely. it back there, make some money. So, um, so what the what the students have done um, is sort of you know find these uh, different designers to come and take things out of the op shop, restyle them, redesign them, deconstruct oh, them. Oh, oh, that's fun! So yes. they'll be in the show as well. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's so they're the outfits you're going to see. Will they be for sale? Night. Completely. So make sure you bring oh, your credit card, Megan. Yes. Hey, how fun, everyone, if you grabbed one of those one-off pieces for the races. Completely. Imagine you would be in every newspaper, you'd be on the television every 10 seconds. If you had one of those original crazy pieces... It'd be awesome. I wore gumboots to the races once, and <laughs> those strike ones standing there, but I have never had more attention. I reckon every, that's what you should do. Yeah. Come and get your races outfit at this. Completely. And then we also have a pop-up store as well with other, um, other um, outfits in there. That's so, fun. You know, so um, you know, as the girls mentioned before, you know, tickets are just fifty dollars and forty dollars. Yeah, that includes all your food and drink for the night. So yeah. that you've got money to spend on clothes. Yeah, this is a fundraiser. Yeah, um, you and know, the Pratt Foundation have given five thousand dollars already. Abs like, absolutely, that's amazing. absolutely. We've got so a generous. target this year of about twenty thousand dollars. So let's help there. them, everyone. I think it's important. And and you know, the money the money that we're raising will go towards our winter programs. You know, the, the, we have a winter breakfast program yep. over from June till August where we serve a free hot breakfast nice um, so bacon eggs you know porridge all sorts of things um, and again for people particularly those who are homeless it yeah. can be their only meal of the day Wow so there we go so this is June the 6th all the details are going to be underneath this video on the YouTube page so just click if you if you're looking at this on my Facebook page or on on the Paran Mission page then just click into the YouTube part of it and all the details will be underneath there so see you on June 6th everybody bye